21 gun salute. How thoughtful. Yep. I guess you're just buried, Richard. Yeah, Evan's I mean, finally done with you. Until the fun begins. Should be any minute now. The sooner I get my kids out of that palace, the sooner I'll be able to breathe again. Don't worry about it, Phil. We'll get your kids out of here. So far, the plan is working perfectly. With any luck, when we go in there, it'll be a total surprise. Excuse me, sir. What's going on? We had a snag. What? what do you need a snag? Palace security forces are double what we expected. Captain Taylor needs more time to adjust the attack. Damn. Maybe must suspect something after all. Don't worry, don't worry, Richard. Taylor's the best field guy there is. He'll find a way to get us in there and pull this thing off. Well, you know, we still have a problem. Listen, I'm hoping to take Beth with me, and I'm going to have a hell of a time convincing her to go if I don't know where she is. That's right. Dak said that she wasn't at the funeral. Leaving the obvious question, where the hell is she? over and Edmund will be back. But that doesn't mean that you have to be here. To the palace. Very moving sounds. Once in a lifetime experience. Surely, Edmund, you felt it was a fitting farewell. Colonel, it may be the end for Richard of the phrase gone but not forgotten were ever to apply, it's now. You, uh, fear repercussions? Shouldn't I? When Livia calls and informs me that neither she nor Josh nor Reva will be coming to the funeral because they've heard something serious is likely to happen? My God, only a fool can take a tip like that. Richard did have many friends. Yes, but the most bloody-minded among them ready and willing to move against me. Assuming Olivia's information is correct. Which I am. But how will they make that move? And when? <sighs> All I can do is wait. But considering how much Richard loves San Cristobal and what this project would do for the economy down there, I think he would be very happy to know it has a good chance of going forward. Oh, it's definitely going forward, Alan. Now, then perhaps Edmund would allow us to erect a statue in Richard's honor on the waterfront. But then again, maybe we wouldn't have to ask Edmund. you've canceled all official engagements for the remainder of the day. Why do you ask? Security. Huh. Yes, I've cleared my schedule. I'm in mourning. I suppose both princesses will require your attention, however. Colonel Cassie is no longer a princess. I'm taking her to her baby's grave and then on to the airport. We put upon a plane, Springfield, and then I'll be able to focus on Beth. I hope she's feeling better. She'll be back to her old self in no time. Right about you, Edmund. All of them. I cut off my mother. I cut off Philip. Damn it, I loved you. Cassie, how could you, how could you leave me here? I will, I will not be left here. I will not end up like Cassie. I'll get my children and we'll be safe. We'll live. Please, God, let me live. Cassie! Things fueled up and waiting at the air. Cassie? It's no use hiding from me, Cassie. You know it never really works, does it? Damn it, woman, stop this foolishness. You're going home. It's what you've always wanted, isn't it?
all go to ship to now. You don't like your food? Uh, no, no. It's it's just that I was thinking that someone else should be here. Who's that, Noah? Cassie. But I miss Noah, too. Do you think Aunt Cassie knows about Richard? It's horrible. I mean, like, a few days ago he was in our house, and now... You know what? I bet that's the uh, police. They're probably <laughs> oh. calling to warn you guys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm coming home. Cassie? I is it you? Is it really you? As near as I can tell. Where are you? I I I'm on an airplane, and uh, we, we just left San Cristobal's airspace. <laughs> I can't believe it. She she she's coming home. Are you all right? <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. So you know about Richard? Yes, and that's the other good news. What? He's alive. Richard's alive? Oh. But no one can know about it, Riva. Yeah, this is starting to get ridiculous. How long are we going to stay camped here? We can't afford to jump off before we're ready. Been ready for bloody weeks now. Richard, we've come too far to blow the plan because we're in the Hey, game. how do we know that we're not blowing it by standing around here doing nothing? Can you guarantee me that Edmund hasn't figured out that we're up to something and he doesn't have my kids chained no, to the wall? No, I can't guarantee anything. But all the intelligence points to Lydia and James being exactly where they've been all day in the nursery wing. Still don't know where Beth is. No. Captain Taylor says we're good to go. How long do we get? It's about time. All right, gentlemen. The reign of the tyrant Edmund Winslow is about to come crashing down. Let's go. Can anybody hear me? I take it the recent turn of events was no accident. No, it was it was planned. Richard staged his death, but only Dax, Philip, Noah, and a few loyalists, and now you know about it. It, it has to stay a secret, Reva, or the rest of the plan may not work. What happens next? The good guys infiltrate the, the palace. They get Lizzie and James out of there. They arrest Edmund, and, and Richard comes home. I like the sound of that. Oh, God, Reva, I have been dreaming about this for weeks. So, Cassie, where have you been this whole time? Please tell me that you've been in hiding. Sorry. Edmund had me locked in an abandoned tower on the palace grounds. I was chained to the wall, human bait to lure Richard back to San Cristobal. Dear God. Edmund was the only one who knew where I was. He can't get away with this. He won't. And Richard will see to that, just like he found a way to get me free. 
But you know what, I, I just, I'll tell you the whole story when I get there. I just want to put my arms around Tammy and RJ. Are they okay? All they need is you, sweetie. They'll be waiting for you at the house. So will I. I can see you, Reva. I can just see you. Reva, um, has there been a... No. Honey, there's, there's no change in my vision. But my tear ducts are working just fine. I'm so glad you're coming home. So am I. I love you. I'll see you soon. Let me help you. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Richard's alive. Yes. But that information cannot go past this table, please. Why? Why? It's terrific news. There are reasons for it, Olivia. And frankly, I don't feel comfortable spelling them out to you, seeing as how cozy you are with Edmund. Reva. No, I mean, in fact, if Edmund finds out anything about this, I think we'll all be able to figure out exactly how it happened, won't we? Come on, climb back up to me. I can't let go of the rope. <laughs> 